So what's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you a full character class guide in Torchlight Infinite. So this game in general has a bunch of fun characters to play and we have a very unique variety to choose from. But the big question is, which classes aka the characters can actually perform the best and do the highest damage and much more. So I've played every single class and this is what I learned. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first character class and it is the Berserker Rehan. So this character is a fast melee based warrior. He excels at close range and devastating up close AOE attacks. His hero trait is that when you are hitting or taking damage from the enemy, then you will passively gain rage, which over time will increase your attack damage and attack speed. And then when your rage bar is at full, you can tap the rage bar which will consume all of your collected rage. And then you can enter the berserk mode, which will give you 2 times as much rage bonus and plus 30% movement speed as well. Then as far as his abilities go, you will find a big variety to choose from. Like in most games, the berserker will have skills like spiral strike, leap attack, whirlwind, bloodthirst and much more. The more you will play the game, the better and more upgraded skills you will get. And then at the end game, you will be able to do crazy AOE damage. And this is one of the highest damage classes in the game. So overall, if you enjoy the close range melee combat and you want to be a very powerful warrior with super high AOE damage, then this is the class for you. So then moving over to the second character class, and it is the Divine Chat Karuno. So this character relies on ranged attacks to deal damage while forcing enemies to dodge bullet projectiles on the map. This class is your typical gunner, that unlike the Berserker, you will do most of your damage from the range while using different damage combos. Then as far as his hero traits go, it's super simple. Here in the middle, you will get 6 bullets, and each time you use your basic attacks, one bullet will be consumed. And then when you use all of your 6 bullets, your hero trait will just reload the weapon and then you start over. Unlike the Berserker, this class is simple ranger that uses range abilities and reloads his weapon every 6 shots. But on top of that, your skills and passives will be able to give you faster reloading time, plus 30% chance to reload a special ammo that will do increased damage and much more. So then taking a closer look at your abilities, and as I mentioned, your hero trait will reload your shots. So this build is mainly focused on spamming your basic attack, and then do simple combos with your skills. This class is very simple, but will require at the end game to build up very high attack speed, critical strike rating and much more. So overall, if you enjoy the range combat with guns or a bow, and you just like to spam while doing high damage, then this is the class for you. So then moving over to the third character class and it is the Frostfire Gamma. So she is your typical mage class, that is a dual wielding wizard which can launch powerful ice and fire attacks. Her hero trait is similar to the Berserker, so while you are using your fire or ice skills, you will passively gain fire or ice energy, which then when it reaches maximum it will fire a pulse of frost or fire that will do massive amounts of damage. This class is one of the more complicated ones, as you have two types of spells called fire and ice. And you will usually want to build only one skill type to then do big damage with your hero trait. But about this, you will be able to learn more and in depth from my Frost Gamma build video. So then as far as your skills go, you will find huge variety to choose from. Like any mage, you will get bunch of teleporting, dark magic missiles, frostbite and much more. But a quick tip is that unlike in other MMORPG games, in Torchlight Infinite every single class gets the same teleport ability. So if you're one of those players like me that chooses to play mages usually because you can teleport all around the map, then now you know that every single class can choose to have a teleport skill. So keep in mind this when picking out your character. But with that said, overall if you want to play the traditional mage class that has access to cool magic skills, bunch of AOE ranged damage abilities and other things like that, then this is the class for you. So then moving over to one of the last character classes and it is the Space Time Witness Yoga. So here we have our Wukong class from the League of Legends, aka the Martial Artist, that specializes in space time magic, seeking to exploit enemy attacks by sneaky and deadly attack combos. This is the only character that has two options or basically two versions before creating your class, but I recommend to pick the first option, as this is what 99% of all Space Time Witness Yoga players use, and the second type is more meant for experienced players that have at least one another character created, but I will soon make a dedicated video on this topic. 
And with that said, for your hero, we have the Twisted Space Time. So every time you consume 1% of your mana, you will get one point, which is called the Time and Space Energy Point. So then when you reach maximum points, you can click on the hero meter to consume 50 points of Time and Space Energy, which then will create a warp Time and Space at the point where you are standing for the next 8 seconds. Allies that are standing in the warp Space Time will get plus 25% movement speed and plus 25% attack and casting speed as well. And then when you're in the warp space time yourself, you will get plus 50% spell damage. So as you can see, this hero trait is basically like a big buff circle that I usually use when attacking bosses and when I need big damage increase. This class in general is more support based, which will be very useful in group content. Then as far as your skills go, it will of course depend on what type of weapon you will use. But overall I found this class similar to the mage, where I used the ranged skills to do big AoE damage, and where the mage class was more focused on teleporting and casting ice and fire skills, then with space time witness yoga, I could just build up my energy and after activating my hero trait, just stand still and destroy a bunch of enemies and much more. So overall if you're looking for a powerful character class, that will do big damage but is useful in group content as well, then this is the class for you so have fun. So then moving over to the next character class and it is the commander moto. So this class is typical summoner that utilizes minions that will fight by your side and do the most damage possible. If you choose to play this class, then the only way to do damage will be by summoning your minions, which then will do all the damage for you. This is by far the easiest class to play, as the only thing that you will need to do is run around the map while pointing in the general direction where your minion should fight. Even at the end game, most builds don't have a single damage ability, so your actual character won't ever have to use his sword or staff to do damage. But everything is done by your minions, and you just control them. So then with that said, your hero jet is very simple. You get to command your minions to attack and when the energy bar is full, you will give your minions increased damage over a few seconds. And then lastly, as far as your skills go, so as I mentioned, all of your abilities will support and control your minions. So then they can do all the damage for you. So you will get access to skills like Summon Machine Guard, Dark Gate, Machine Army and much more. And of course, each skill you will be able to improve. So then your minions will receive more HP, higher DPS and etc. So overall I personally found this class to be one of the most simplest one, and the class that was super relaxing and had easy gameplay. This class is similar to Necromancer from Diablo Immortal. So if this is something that you've been looking for then try this class out and have fun. And with that said, now we have come to the last and final character class, and it is the new upcoming class called Oracle Tia. So as I want to keep this video as much up to date as possible, I wanted to include this class as well. Right now it is not available to play, but we have got few hints and descriptions of the class. So if you are interested in all the new content that is coming to Torchlight Infinite, then stick with me for a minute or two. So Oracle Tia is a class that revolves around different buffs aka blessings. Her hero trait gives her blessings every 2 seconds, in the order of focus, then agility and then tenacity, and then the cycle repeats. For every blessing that you will consume, you will get plus 10% damage buff for the next 4 seconds. And then when your bar is at full, you get to use a special buff called the God Punishment, which will consume all focus, agility and tenacity blessings, which after 0.5 seconds delay will deal massive physical damage to the enemies, and then on top of all this, you will be able to get additional effects based on the consumed blessing. So from all the gameplay and footage that I found, this Oracle Tia is something between Frostfire Gamma and a Mage. So this class is great in mid to long range, while using magic spells and revolving around blessings and buffs. So overall I'm very interested in Tia, because of her unique playstyle, and there are already a bunch of players Tiro crafting unique builds and different playstyles. So I hope you enjoyed this small preview, and the more details we will get I will make a dedicated video talking and showcasing this class and that's about it. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Torchlight Infinite builds or guides that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy, peace.